in it all before the start of the season, congratulations, you're not a big risk taker. If you had money on me understanding that action, now that's a risk. Mm -hmm. despite but despite many tutorials. But despite that, and despite entering the season as favorites to win it all, and despite having debatedly two of the top three players in the NBA, four straight NBA Finals appearances, still impressive. Also appearances. Here's Steph on the journey this season. This year's been interesting with ups and downs and injuries and uh, even in the playoffs as of late, you know, having how we started games, um, coming out, out of the gate slow and, and fighting our way back in the second half. Um, all that stuff is, is a part of continue to grow um, and, and find you know, ways to motivate yourself but stay, stay appreciative of the, moment, of the moment because I think that you saw that on all our faces after Game 7 of, of, of the Houston series where you know this means a lot to us and and there's an appreciation for the the difficulty to get back to this stage let alone you know try to win four more games and win a championship so we're 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 living in the moment all right nick let's talk about how impressive this feat is getting to the nba finals four straight times i this my answer may surprise you guys here but i find this wildly impressive i understand they're the most talented team ever i understand they had kevin durant but I am enough of a student of NBA history. I watched the Laker team with Shaq and Kobe in their primes. Three straight NBA championships get bounced in round two. I watched the Piston team go to three straight NBA finals, get swept before they got back to a fourth. They, you want to go all the way back to the 71 Lakers. They lose in the conference finals after going to three straight NBA finals. It is hard to get to four straight. There's a reason why... Magic's Lakers did it once, Bird's Celtics did it once, LeBron's franchise unto himself did it once in Miami and now once in Cleveland, and now these guys. And that's it in the last 60 years of NBA history. And they haven't done it without being on the brink. They had to play three consecutive elimination games to get to their second NBA Finals, including a Game 6 on the road against OKC before they had Kevin Durant. They had to play back-to-back -back elimination games, including a Game 7 on the road, to get to their fourth straight NBA Finals. Like, I do not take this for granted. I might not love the way the Warriors constructed their team. I might not love some of the personalities on that team. But to get here, when I doubted if they could, I talked about all year long how hard four straight is, how the injuries can catch up. And that's one of the one other thing I'll say is, I give them credit, they've stayed healthy. That's hard, man. Some of that's luck, but some of that's a skill. And their ability to have essentially their entire team intact this time of year, every year, is very impressive to me. So I give them a ton of credit for that. I would say I'm not as impressed as with you because to me it's not four years in a row making it to the finals. It's two different stories. All right? You have the Warriors, the first edition, and that got to the finals, won. Next year came back. Best record in the NBA, 73 wins. NBA record, but blue a championship to the Cleveland Cavaliers, up three to one. Oh, uh, you know, so what they do, they went out and got the second best player in the world. So for me, they haven't been to four straight with Kevin Durant. They went to two. They had a great collection of players, one of the best collection of players we've seen. Then they went out and got the second best player available. And with Kevin Durant, they've gone to two straight. I, don't, I haven't been that impressed with it. They went seven games. One time in this last two years with Kevin Durant, they weren't pushed last year in the playoffs at all. They got pushed one time this year in, in the playoffs. So to me, it's not as impressive because of when they went out and got Kevin Durant. If they had done this without Kevin Durant, oh, this would be, this would be one of the, probably the most impressive things that I've seen in the NBA in the last 30 years. But when you go out and get KD, when you were already a 73 win team, you didn't get an old washed up KD like a lot of these other great teams tried to do. They tried to retread the tires on other great Bring players. Carl Malone, that, Gary yeah, but no, the they went out and got the second best player in his prime. So I'm not overly impressed with four years in a row, because it's really about two and two. Were you more impressed, though, with the, the Warriors' run-up this year than last year? I know you think that this past year was a little harder. It's hard to refocus. It's hard to get the energy up, even if you have Kevin Durant. But, but comparing last year with Durant and this year with Durant, which was a more impressive oh, I and think harder last, year? I think last year. I, well, more impressive and harder are different things. I, last year, the way to bring him in, to make that work almost instantly, and to 
sweep round one, sweep round two, sweep round three, and then go up 3-0 in, in the NBA Finals. Yeah. San Antonio without their best player. New Orleans without their second best player and no bench. You're talking about this year? Yes. This year, so because this year was harder, isn't that more impressive? I, I don't make it harder just because they went seven games. I said it to be easier. Like, San Antonio didn't have Kawhi. All right? New Orleans didn't have Boogie. Now, if they had, if they had all those players and they had gone through that gauntlet, I would have been like, man, that's, that's massively impressive. I, the, the reason that this year in particular, I, the, I, I'm not giving them as much credit as last year is also because I just I don't like teams in general that punt on a regular season. And I, that's one of the reasons why people think, because I lived in Houston for four years, that's why I wanted the Rockets to win. I wanted the Rockets to win because I wanted the regular season to be meaningful. One of the reasons I thought the Chris Paul injury was so devastating, like the Warriors were going to have to pay the bill that was due for punting on the regular season. But they were, whatever my feelings on it are, they were an elimination game down 17 in the first quarter, down 10 at halftime, they blew the Rockets out in game six. They were in an elimination game down 11 at halftime. They blew the Rockets out in games. They didn't blow the Rockets out, but they ended up winning game seven. Like, I give them credit for it. It's hard to do in the league. Like, so you're right, C, that they, it's not the same iteration team. It's not, it's not like Shaq and Kobe's Lakers, where it was, for all intents and purposes, the same guy. Shaq and Kobe's Lakers didn't go add Tracy McGrady, you know, halfway through, and then it's like, hey, this is what we've got. I get that part of it, but it's still hard, man. And I, and the mental and physical fatigue of playing this many consecutive 100-game seasons, I don't think can be discounted. Yeah, now, I disagree as far as the regular season. I don't think the regular season is that important. You know the reason why? Because I saw a higher seed in the Eastern Conference have home court advantage, and it didn't help. LeBron James went to Boston, Swept. won that. In the West, what happened? 65-win team only happened 20 times. Houston was now one of those teams that didn't win the championships. 15 of those teams had won a championship. Houston won 65 games. It didn't matter. Game number seven, people talk about Chris Paul and all that. Golden State did win that game. So both teams went on the road, and I have seen Cleveland not only this year, but the previous two seasons, the regular season, it didn't matter that much. So I'm in disagreement with you as far as the regular season, yeah. because the way I've seen it play, Cleveland, oh man, y'all go ahead and have that. One seed, ah, oh, y'all can have that. We'll be a number two. This year, ah, oh, we'll be a number four. We saw Golden State this year as a number two, still reaching it to the, reaching the finals. So the regular season, I believe with the NBA, unless they shorten the schedule, Unless they take enough 15 games off the schedule, 10 games off the schedule, which would make it more important at 82 games. If you get in the tournament, you got a chance. Let's talk some football. Let's do that. Let's put basketball aside for just a second. Coming up, Peyton Manning has thoughts on Andrew Luck. Hear from him next on First